Good day, everyone, and welcome to Open for Business, Let's Talk Resilience. I'm Edwin Salonga, the Country Program Manager in the Philippines of the Asian Disaster Preparedness Center, or ADPC. Hello, and I'm Joya Bacilias from Philippine Disaster Resilience Foundation. So, what better way to celebrate the National Disaster Resilience Month than to put a spotlight on our economy's lifeblood, the micro, small, and medium enterprises? Spot on, Jonna. It really is important to lay the foundation on boosting MSME resilience. Policies have to be in place and roadblocks have to be eliminated to pave the way for our Filipino entrepreneurs. That's correct, Edwin. So today we'll be sharing inspiring messages from Senator Risa Hontiveros and Undersecretary Blasila Lantayona of the Department of Trade and Industry Regional Operations Group. Senator Risa Hontiveros is a health and women's rights advocate a proud activist and a champion of the basic sectors. She is the Philippines' first socialist woman senator. She continues to push for legislation that fights for social injustice, inequality, and the struggle for stronger gender rights for all. As part of her flagship measures for the new Congress, she recently refiled the SOGI Equality Bill that affirms and protects the rights of members of the LGBTQ community from discrimination as well as the divorce bill. Prior to her appointment as Undersecretary of the Department of Trade and Industry, Undersecretary Blasila A. Lantayona was the Assistant Secretary of DTI Regional Operations Group in charge of Kapatid Mentor ME, Shared Service Facilities, Industry Cluster Enhancement Project, and Great Women Project 2, among others. Her career in the civil services started in NEDA Region 11, then moved to DTI in various technical positions at first, then as Provincial Director of DTI Davao del Sur, as Assistant Regional Director of DTI Region 11, and was later appointed as Regional Director of DTI Region 3 Central Luzon. In September 2019, she was appointed as a Supervising Undersecretary of the DTI Regional Operations Group in charge of the 16 regional offices, 81 provincial offices, and the Bureau of Small Micro Enterprise Development. My appreciation for MSME significantly grew, especially after we felt the immediate effects of COVID-19 lockdowns and restrictions. I met several MSME owners who had to close enterprises they'd worked on and been passionate about for decades. What's worse is, for every enterprise that closes, a number of Filipinos also loses jobs. Before COVID-19, 7 out of 10 Filipinos were employed by MSMEs. Up until now, these workers still face the threat of losing jobs and income streams in an instant. I certainly recognize the importance of MSMEs and in fact, in Bayanihan 2, I push to include lifesaver loans for MSMEs, which I hope can help enterprises weather the storm during times of crisis. The department has issued around 12 policy measures and initiatives in coordination with the other agencies that aim to support and guide MSMEs to safely continue operating their businesses and ensure unhampered movement of goods and secure the safety of the public. Among this is the issuance of a 30-day grace period for residential and commercial rents or MC20-12, expediting the release of refrigerated containers and dry vans or the JAO 20-01 and the granting of incentives for medical equipment manufacturers which is contained in MC20-02. And uh, following the MSME Development Plan strategic actions, we have also hastened you know, the goals to quickly respond to the urgent demands. We launched online portals which aspiring and existing entrepreneurs can easily access for business registration and development services such as the Negocio Center portal, the tech tools for MSMEs, and the Central Business Portal. More MSMEs can now avail of loans through the COVID-19 
assistance to restart enterprises or the Bayanihan Cares Program uh, by the financing arm of the DTI, which is the SB Corporation. And as of July 15, 2021, the loan assistance program has already assisted close to 32,000 uh, borrowers and released a total amount of loan uh, at 4.8 billion, or they have approved already about 4.8 billion amount of loans. And aside from this, um, SB Corporation has also loans for repatriated OFWs through the HEROES program and CARES for travel for MSMEs under the tourism sector. Also, our regional offices, we have 16 regional offices all across the country, extended business development and livelihood programs through the Pangkabuhayan, sa Pagbangon at Ginhawa, and Negosyo Servicio sa Barangay. This is intended to restart businesses and provide opportunities for people who have been affected by calamities and lost their jobs due to business businesses closing down. And lastly, uh, capacity building activities and programs were enhanced to develop creative, smarter, and innovative or innovation-oriented MSMEs. More activities have pivoted online, such as training and trade fairs. We have been gearing towards digitally empowered and skilled MSMEs, which is where the future is headed. Resilience and business continuity planning activities and initiatives were also further promoted as more MSMEs have seen the importance of the preparation during unprecedented situations such as this pandemic. One of the important things of being a leader in a situation like this is responsiveness and adaptiveness. We really need to work fast before it is too late. Like our healthcare workers, every minute is critical in saving the lives of the people. Leaders should also be putting in the same effort our healthcare workers do. We in the MSME development arena need to ensure that our MSMEs, which are the lifeblood of the economy, are given enough support before they flatline and shut down their businesses. A leader must also have an adaptive and open mindset that can turn challenges into opportunities, just like a true entrepreneur. Lessons must be learned and applied to few future-proof our businesses. Short-term initiatives must build up to the long-term goals. To effectively implement policies, a leader must also steer the direction of the constituents and their stakeholders towards policy initiatives that will have long-lasting impact that ensure until the next generation. As we move toward a new and better normal, our MSMEs are never left behind. They are the lifeblood of our economy, and all of us have a role to play to make sure that these small and medium enterprises are given the support and recognition they deserve. A strengthened support system for all Filipino entrepreneurs is key to revive our ailing economy. This is also one of the best ways to ensure that every Filipino household has money in its pockets and food on its plates. Now, to ensure a long-term and sustainable impact on the recipients, the policies must first be guided by a durable framework that seeks to achieve the goals in the long run. Second, 
implementers must uh, be able to see a clear reason and the end goal for these policies. Once we understand the mission and have a clear vision, we can easily work towards the goals that last for a long time, despite the roadblocks seen ahead. Lastly, there is an adage that most of us know, if there is a will, there's a way. The first M in the DTI 7 M's of uplifting the MSMEs is mindset. Our actions must first start with a strong foundation that begins with how we view things. The will must be stronger than any roadblock that we encounter in policy implementation. Sustainability is now becoming more of a need than a goal. This phenomenon had already given us one of the compelling reasons to adopt and bolster policies that are sustainable and impactful. Leaders and implementers must learn how to overcome these roadblocks to achieve a goal of a better and more resilient nation. This brought to you by the Philippine Preparedness Partnership or PhilPrep, the national chapter in the Philippines of the Asian Preparedness Partnership or APP. Established by the Asian Disaster Preparedness Center, the APP is a unique multi-stakeholder regional partnership that includes countries from South and Southeast Asia to better prepare for, respond to, and recover from disasters. Music